Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm gonna show you a secret way to record melodies. So this is sort of a weird way to record melodies, that's for sure, but it actually works and I know some people who actually use it. Now what we're gonna do is take them right from your mind and turn them into MIDI. Well, almost. Basically what we are going to do is hum the melodies, like sing them, and then we're gonna turn the recording of you humming the melody into a MIDI. And don't worry, no singing knowledge is required for this. So yeah, it's a pretty crazy way to record melodies, but it can work. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks you can use to make this a little bit easier and to like hit the right key and stuff like that. So first of all, you probably have a song or you wanna create a song. So I'm just gonna create a really simple like bass progression, go to piano roll. And here is where it gets interesting. So you could either create whatever you want, but if you don't know music theory, like for example me, I wouldn't know which key I am in. So sometimes you can actually find out the key by going to helpers, scale highlighting and do automatic. And if you just set up, set few notes in here, FL Studio will actually determine the key of the song, which if you just hover anywhere in piano roll, the key is actually shown in the left corner of FL Studio. It shows that it's E minor, but I find that sometimes this is not really accurate, so I wouldn't count on this 100%. The second thing you can do, which I'm gonna do right now, is actually go to helpers, scale highlighting, and choose the key you actually wanna work with in. So for example, a major key, and then we go to helpers, scale highlighting, and we can choose a root note, so for example, C. So it will be a C major key. And now all the notes that are highlighted, th those are the ones that are more grayed out, are actually the notes you can use and still be in the C major key. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is the best way to determine the key of your song, but about 60% of the time, it works every time. Now that you know the key of your song, which is C major, this will actually get a little bit easier. So basically now I'm gonna create a really simple bass progression. So just stick to the notes that are highlighted and you will stay in C major key. So this is how it sounds. I guess nobody really cares. So now let's get to the melody creation. So say you have this, a chord progression, maybe you have a full song, whatever. Now you wanna hum a melody to the chord progression. So you can just play it and start thinking of a melody and maybe start humming it. Now something like that. <laughs> this video is already getting ridiculous. You can do it like that. You can like do it in a lower voice or whatever. Whatever, you know, you get the point. I'm just making this awkward for you to enjoy, but Basically, you can just hum the melody. Of course, you need to record it as well. I already recorded mine because I actually have to record it before shooting the video. Otherwise, it doesn't let me like uh, record the audio, whatever. But the way you do that, you go to insert one or whatever, put in Edison in there. Uh, set this on play. Here where, it's, where it says none, just enable input one, which should be your microphone or whatever you have as microphone. You can also record it on your phone and then uh, export it into FL Studio, but that's basically how it works. Uh, I don't need to have this because the microphone doesn't really work right now. Anyways, once you have that, just press play and play the song and start humming the melody. It will record into Edison and once it does, just like copy it in your channel rack and uh, there will be your recording. Now my recording is already here. Okay, so this is the recording I did. Oh, I just realized I had the melody different. So this was the chord progression I prepared. I just wanted to show you how to create it, but it doesn't matter. Basically, I stick to the highlighted keys and it was this. 
So I had to fix this because I had this prepared for the melody that I pre-recorded. I needed to change these bass notes so they fit actually the melody that I did before. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> You get my point. In theory, it's still the same. I just uh, change up the bass notes and then recorded this melody. So I recommend to do like a high pitched voice. It uh, works a little bit better. It's more accurate. So now how do we turn this into MIDI is what you are all asking or not, but whatever. And so you just go to insert one or insert two, doesn't matter. And load up Newton. So yeah, you do need Newton for this if you don't have it. Unfortunately, I, I don't think there is another way to do this in FL Studio. Maybe like another third party plugin, but, but if you want to follow this video, you do need Newton. Uh, then open up your vocal that you recorded and drag it in here. And let's just uh, not listen to that anymore. So now that you have it in here, now what we can do is go here, select all slices. Now all the slices are selected, so you could uh, center this, but since you know that this is in C major, it should be anyways, then you can actually go here in the tools, you do scale and you choose major C. Now it actually changed the highlighted notes, but it didn't actually move the vocal. So what you wanna do next is go here again and do snap to scale. Now if you sank any notes wrong, like off the scale, it will move them into the scale. So as you can see, it adjusted the notes and all of them are on the highlighted scale. Now let's also center it and you can see it better that all of them are on the highlighted scale notes. We can also do the variation at zero. So it's just plain notes. Now this recording should be in C major as well as the bass note chord progression or whatever is in C major. Now what we do instead of dragging this, we actually drag this MIDI. Now first let's clone our sound here. Make sure it's selected in the channel rack. That's the sound you want to use for melodies. And just click this button. And that's it. We can close Newton and now the melody is actually in here. So you can see it's sort of like offbeat and stuff. We can fix that right away, but we can also delete this and we can copy this twice. Now you can see the melody here and it starts right away, even though in the original, we wanted it to start a little bit later. So you will have to move this. So let's just play it and adjust it. So. So as you can hear, it's sort of offbeat. What you can do is hold control, select it with your mouse and press control Q, which will quantize the notes so they align with the beats. Now, there is a few notes that we don't actually want. So we will just have to delete those manually. Or you can keep them there if uh, and see how it sounds actually. So yeah, this one we don't want. And I also wanted only two like hits in here. This one we don't want. And I can see this is the correct rhythm. So just adjust the rhythm, remove the unwanted notes and that's pretty much it. this one also. So yeah, now it, the melody should be exactly how we sang it, pretty much. And we turn it into this. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. If you want to adjust the melody again, you can just stick to the highlighted notes. Those will be in the key you are actually working with. 
and if we go to helpers major c so yeah that will be fine and that's a really simple way you can actually make a melody you just sing it or hum it it actually works so yeah i know i didn't create any amazing song here i just wanted to demonstrate this technique you can use and i think it's a cool one to use for anyone who is struggling to create melodies in piano roll or doesn't know how to play the piano everybody knows how to sing a little bit just make sure you are home alone when you do it because it can get kind of awkward <laughs> Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.